morning, friends. Welcome for those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning. Welcome back. This is Faith Field Friday. My name is Tara and this is Pretty Planet. For those of you that are joining me for the first time, we are going to dive right into our scripture writing. Um, and I cover scriptures from Friday to Friday. You guys can go back and check out some of the previous Faith Field Friday videos if you like. Um, but stick around. This is what we're going to do here. I'm so thankful that we're here. We made it, you guys, to another Friday. So it's a perfect time to just give God some thanks for allowing us to see another day. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace, just thanking you for this day, oh God. I thank you for life, health, and strength. I thank you, Lord God, for every soul that's gathered here to learn your scriptures, Lord God, to spend this time with me, oh God, in the word, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you've given us another day, Lord God, that we won't take for granted, Lord God, that we will move throughout this day and do the best that we can. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again for joining me. I won't prolong this video. It is super early. And of course, I am getting ready for work as soon as I get done here. But we're going to get started. We are going to get started. So I will start again from last week, um, which was Friday, February 16th. And the scripture was Psalms 37, 23 through 24. And it reads, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Amen. And then Saturday was Romans 12 and 2, and it reads, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. I'm sorry, you guys, if I didn't ask or say that I pray that you all are doing well. I just thought about it as I'm reading and I'm stumbling, but yes, I do pray that you all are doing well. I'm doing good. I'm glad it's Friday. We're going to get through our scriptures and write our scripture for today, and we're going to have a good day. So we just put it out there in the atmosphere right now. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. That's not one of these scriptures, you guys, but I just felt the need to say that. So, Sunday, February 18th, was Joshua 1 and 8, and I did write this in the NLT version, and it reads, Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. Amen. Then as we go into our next week, which starts off at... Monday, February 19th, was 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, and it reads, But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Amen. And then Tuesday was Psalms 86 and 11, and it reads, Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. Amen. Wednesday, February 21st, was Proverbs 4 and 7, and it reads, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. Amen. And then Thursday was Psalms 119 and 11, and it reads, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Amen. And then I have our scripture for today which is 1 John 5 and 14, and it reads, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Amen. So I'm going to write that scripture here. Now this is the confidence... that we have in him, 
said, if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Amen. Amen. You guys, this is why um, it's important that when we pray, that we pray God's will over our lives. Like God automatically knows, you know, the desires of our hearts, but his will, and I think I say it, you know, when I'm doing my prayer Bible um, videos and even in some of the scripture writings, his will and his plan for our lives will always prevail. And um, I just encourage you guys to, if you don't, include that in your prayers. Like, God, I'm praying your will over my life. You know, we make our own plans, but ultimately we want to walk in the will of God, right? So I know I do. So I don't know if I'm speaking for anybody else, but I know I do. Um, and so for those of you that are new, I will continue to explain my process a little bit because I do have quite a few new subscribers. So this spot over here is blank because I take a scripture that ministers to me um, the most from Friday to Friday. And for this week, I think I'm going to pick... It was a toss-up, you guys, between Wednesday, Proverbs 4 and 7, and yesterday, Psalms 111. I'm sorry, 119, verse 11. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. That is one of my favorites, but this one right here is like, yeah, this one is very, very near and dear. So, I'm going to write um, Proverbs 4 and 7 in this box here. And I might as well just take it out so I can write it really good. Um, I'm going to do my fancy first letter. Um, for those of you that don't know what this is, it's just something I made up. It's because uh, I like the play on words, fancy first letter on Faith Field Friday. It's just me. I'm a little quirky, but it's okay. I like it. Okay, so wisdom is... The principal thing. I love this scripture, you guys. It's like wisdom is the priority, the most important thing. Therefore, get wisdom. It's like clear, straight to the point. Therefore, get wisdom. I love it. I love it. And I do pray for wisdom every day. That's also included in my prayers. And in all you're getting. In all you're getting. I love the verbiage, you guys. Get understanding. Wisdom and understanding goes hand in hand. It does you no good to have wisdom if you don't have understanding to go along with it. Um and vice versa, at least that's my opinion. So that is that. And I will cross off that I did my devotional for Friday and my scripture writing for Friday. I went ahead and just crossed them off throughout the week as I was writing in um, my scriptures. And um, since you guys already see what's on these pages, this week is just some things that I wanted to keep track of and people that I was praying for. Not just a general prayer, but they all say focus prayers because for each person um, listed here, there are specific areas that they need prayer in. And so that is why I labeled it Focus Prayer. Kalen, you guys, I don't have to cross his name off or abbreviate it. That is my son. Um, and he knows he appears in my, my prayer journal uh, quite a bit and my videos. So yes, he is my son, my one and only. And we will go ahead. This was our scripture focus for the week, which was Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. It reads, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. 
So I will put that back and then we will pull our scripture to focus on for next week. You guys, we're almost through with February and then I'm still considering changing my cards for March. The layout um, that I'm gonna use for March has changed um, and I will be back to decorate this with you guys too. It's gonna be the horizontal layout so I'll have enough room for my scripture writings. So let's get back to where we were. <laughs> And I will go ahead and pull the scripture focus for next week. I think last week I pulled from over here. So this week, let's just go ahead and pull from the center. That'll be good, right? All right, let's see what we have. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalms 4 and 8. Amen. And I will punch this and put it in the planner for next week. This is beautiful. This is our last week of February, you guys. This time is flying by. And I will go ahead and share with you guys the devotional for today in my Thrive Devotional Bible for Women. The title is Worship God Alone, and it says, As soon as Gideon died, the Israelites prostituted themselves by worshiping the images of Baal, making Baal beareth their God which comes from Judges 8 and 33. And then the love letter from God reads, Beloved daughter, I love you and I want to be the one to lead you through this life. I have appointed leaders to teach you more about me and to inspire you to live for me, but I did not put them in your life to replace me. Seek me first above all others, even the leaders I have appointed. Remember that what you see in them is my spirit working through their imperfections. Read my word, speak to me in prayer, and praise me in song. You won't need more proof that I am real and present. Look up and see me. I am with you even to the end of time. Love your heavenly father. And then the reflection reads, God uses imperfect people to accomplish his purposes. We should never put our faith in a Christian leader instead of God. If you place your faith in Christ alone, you will never be led astray. Learn from God's people, but don't allow your leader to become a God to you. A leader can't live your faith for you. Your relationship with God starts with your personal commitment. And then the treasure of truth says God uses imperfect people to accomplish his purposes. This is amazing, you guys. And then um, on the side here, it's just a little small prayer. It says, Dear God, help your daughter to keep her eyes on you and worship you alone. May her faith flourish and never fade until the day she sees your face. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys, I love this devotional, and this is actually, I had a conversation. I'm going to be very brief because I got to go to work, but I had a conversation with a friend last week, and we were talking about this exact topic, so I'm going to send her a picture of my devotional for today, or maybe I'll ask her to watch this video, but this is pertinent because I know um, we do hold our leaders to a higher standard, and sometimes we put them on a pedestal. And then we sometimes forget that they are human and they're, you know, imperfect, just like the rest of us. And just always keep in mind that no one can come before God and we should never place anybody, not our leaders, our spouses, our children. Nobody should come before God. And I think we can kind of interchange the words here like um, leaders for spouses, children's 
you know, children. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think this is um very important and I, I love, I love, love, love this devotional. I will link it below if any of you guys are interested. I did get it from Amazon. And again, I mentioned in the last video that I tabbed this myself. Um, it does not come like this, but these tabs were also from Amazon. So I thank you guys for being here with me again. It is, uh, yeah, a blessing that you guys join me. And I pray that you guys are encouraged by these scriptures. I pray right now, Lord God, that you will cover us throughout our journeys, Lord God, throughout our travels to and from every destination. I thank you, Lord God, for the time that we've spent here in your word, Lord God. I pray that if it's your will, Lord God, we will meet here again next Friday to cover more scriptures, Lord God, for Faith Field Friday. I thank you now for each and every soul that's here watching. Let us go in peace. Let us always remember to look to you for everything that we need because we know, Lord God, that you are our provider. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again. Remember to keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty. Music